neighborhood find nestled right next to the commuter rail in Needham. The James is an Irish pub with a purpose. We're trying to reflect what pubs are in Ireland right now. They've still got the old-fashioned feel to them, but the food is so much more elevated. Loads of soda bread's gone out to the patio. Originally from the coastal city of Galway, Stuart Henry moved to the States two decades ago. Met my wife here, and we got married, and then th that was it. I'm, I, I was a lifer. Henry and business partner Cormac Dowling hope that James helps dispel a myth. Irish food was always looked at as just fried, bad food in general. I think it's just come a long way. And we uh, source locally as much as possible. We're a small little place. We don't have much place for refrigeration, so we order in every day and we make everything from scratch every day. What is the must have? You gotta have our soda bread. Our soda bread with the Irish honey butter. We cook it right before service. I think we're ready. Our short rib and ale pie has basically become our signature dish. Braised short ribs, roasted vegetables, puff pastry, cheese, bubbling when it comes out. We serve it with the mascarpone horseradish. Other winners, seafood pie and cider brined heritage pork chop with butternut squash puree and mustard creme. Just perfect comfort food. To preserve the James's cozy feel during COVID-19, Henry and his team got creative. Inside, a conversation starter. Doors turn shields. We actually put on Instagram and asked our neighbors if anyone had any spare doors in their basement, and we got tons of responses. Outside, a heated patio. It's totally comfortable under the it's heat. It's surprisingly it's warm to be able to eat outside in the winter. The town of Needham basically offered us a patio, kind of made it into like a beer garden. It became a really nice hot spot. A perfect place to cap off the night with a toasty beverage. Irish coffee. Yes. The well, ultimate comfort food drink. Absolutely. Any idea how many of these you're making a night or a week? Right now, as the weather got colder, we're making a 20, 30 a night now. Wow. There you go. Traditional Irish coffee. Simple, right? Just a spoon just a spoonful full of, of sugar. A <laughs> little bit of coffee just to melt the sugar. And now I get to put the good stuff in. Patty Irish whiskey. We want a, a three count, a good pour. One, two, three. Yeah, you can keep on going. <laughs> we can't forget the whipped cream. Pour your cream over it. It's just gonna float on top. Wait a minute, where did I go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> More booze. From pubs to pasta, how about a taste of Tuscany? In Burlington? No matter what you get, you're gonna feel warm, it's gonna fill your belly. Shannon St. Pierre is director of marketing and events at Londana. She says the team here is truly committed to Italian cuisine. They really want nothing less than perfection, and every dish is checked by executive chef before it hits the dining room to just ensure that it's exactly the way that he intended it. Executive chef Alex Intiriano worked his way up within the Columbus Hospitality Group. Owners of Landana, as well as Mistral and Teatro in Boston. I started as a dishwasher back in 2001. As the years passed, I discovered that love I had for food. I never saw myself getting this far. Dedication is currency in the kitchen, says chef Intiriano. You have to prove yourself. Hopefully, you know, the executive chef or chef owner will pick you and be like, you know, I want to make you my line cook. I want to make you my sous chef. The Tuscan-inspired menu here offers plenty of house-made pasta. The bolognese is a bestseller. Making bolognese sauce, it's a long process. We get the base ready to go. We cook that for about three hours, 350 degrees in the oven. Cavatelli is next with king oyster mushrooms, squash, Brussels sprouts, Parmesan, and chestnuts. Meanwhile, pastry chef Suzanne Giaquinto has Zeppoli on the way. It is a traditional Italian dessert, reminiscent of a lot of carnivals, fairs. It's similar to a donut, it's much lighter. Traditionally, it's a fried dough. We do a little twist on it. I add a little ricotta to the dough. It gives it a little texture, a little lightness, and a little bit more flavor. Londana's elegant interior seats 220 people at full capacity. St. Pierre says the staff can't wait until the day when the restaurant is bustling again. My hope is that we can see people's beautiful smiles at the door, they can see ours. You can come in, in here and relax and people will sit for hours and enjoy themselves and we really kind of miss that. 
Londana just doesn't do pasta, of course. They have a full and diverse menu. The restaurant was created by Chef Janie Mamano, who is behind Mistral and Sorlina. Among others, Londana hopes to see more business now that restaurants in Massachusetts can operate at 40% capacity per Governor Baker's announcement a few days ago. Next, perfecting the dumpling.